here live on the red carpet brought to you by Nissan of course the Nashville Film Festival and Talkopolis at Nashville Entertainment Weekly. I'm here with the wonderful Rena Owen. Thank you. Now we got interrupted before with our first interview because they were trying to be a little bit cheeky to the Australian <laughs> which they always do. Right, but right. But you yourself a New Zealander. That's right, that's and right. And we were talking about Anzac Day which these guys might not know a lot about but it's very near and dear to okay, us. Okay so Anzac Day is Australian New Zealand Army Corps. It's essentially uh, Down Under's version of Veterans Day and it's next weekend Sunday and this year is the 100th anniversary. 100th anniversary yeah. since World War Two. Now That's New right. Zealanders and Australians sometimes take the piss out of each other like yeah. USA and Canada yeah. but in this particular time when the shit hits the fan we get together. And we're oh really yeah good. yeah we not only do we, we get together in everything except for sports. That's right. So we have a t-shirt in New Zealand that says we don't mind losing to anybody except Australia. We hate each other when it comes to sports. And they made that t-shirt because they lose so incredibly oh, I don't often. Think so who won the last <laughs> World Cup in New Zealand? The All Blacks! All right, let's talk about, I, I mentioned before, Once a Warriors, first and foremost. That's right. Absolutely love that Thank film. You. Have always Thank loved you. it. You were incredible Thank in you. that. Um, obviously, you've done a lot since then. We talked yeah. about it, a series in Australia in 2012. Talk yeah. that a little bit. Oh, I did, uh, that was with Brian Cox in uh, the Torrey Strait Islands for ABC. Which is a, a magnificent place as it well. It absolutely it is. is. And now we're in Nashville, Music City, we and are. we're talking about film. We're talking which is about incredible. the Deadlands. And we're talking which, about that's the Deadlands. right, which is a New Zealand film um, that I play a role in, and it's New Zealand's first totally pre colonial film. So it's wow. a lot like Mel Gibson's Apocalypto. Okay. Uh, so you got a lot of brown boys, mm -hmm. buff brown boys, <laughs> running around in G strings. <laughs> Uh, it's an action film, so yep. there's a lot of testosterone. That's all good. That and how good did you stuff. fit in with all that testosterone? All of that good stuff. But what the things the Americans would know here is I worked in Atlanta, Georgia last year on mm -hmm. the Red Road okay. for Sundance, which was the Sundance yes. TV series. And I'm also uh, doing a re reoccurring role in Longmire, which oh, wow. Netflix. And I'm also in the Vin Diesel film. Whoa. Vin yeah, Diesel, Vin he's the man. Some more buff guys. Come, uh, yeah, coming so out in Halloween. This. Obviously, it's all moving incredibly fast and forward for you, yeah. worked incredibly hard for so long. Yeah. Now you're in the States doing some wonderful things. Yeah. How do you think when you look back on the times when, you know, struggling in New Zealand and all those sorts of things, perhaps do you still like to go back and do these indie films? Oh yeah. 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 It's for, for me, I mean, I I do indie films in LA. Yeah. I, cool. you know, my last indie film was in the LA Film Festival last year. Uh, for me, it's it's always about the script. Okay. It's the strength of the story. Yeah. So it, it's that you're only as good as your script. Yeah. And that can be in theater, TV, or film. Mm -hmm. It's about basically the strength of the story, the character they want you to play, in the filmmakers. That's what it's about. And as an actor, who do you like yeah. to play? What is, what's your favorite? Oh gosh, I I don't know. I've played so many different. I know. I'm a, well, I'm a character actor, so. Right. So you just dive straight in. Yeah, yeah. I love playing Ton Wee in episode Star Wars mm -hmm. Episode Two. Um, I loved working with Vin Diesel mm -hmm. and Breck Eisner on the Last Witch Hunter. Um, tell I, us, I, tell yeah. us about this role. Uh, this role in the Deadlands yeah. is I play the leading boy's grandmother. So you, won't, I'm unrecognisable. I've got a, a little grey wig. Mm -hmm. I've got lots of wrinkles and a tattoo on my chin. Wow. Even New Zealand journalists didn't realise it was me, so that's a wow, compliment. That is. To, to Diving straight into Basically, that for someone not to be able to recognise yeah. you, it means you did a good job as an actor. It is so good. And I'm just so proud to be a part of this film and to have worked with Tor Fraser, the director, and Matthew Metcalf, who I've worked with before as a producer, and, mm -hmm. and all our, we've got some stunning Maori actors out there. Just oh, you stunning, certainly have. And you know, you know what happens, though? Australians always tend to claim you New Zealanders once you really hit Yeah, the it's a bit time. like Russell Crowe. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, you know, no, 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 but here's the Here's the thing, yeah, Keith Urban, but back to Russell Crowe, uh -huh. when he's in trouble, <laughs> Which he's is a New Zealander. Yeah, that's right. In the media, <laughs> when he's throwing whenever phones. Russell Crowe's in trouble, he's suddenly a New Zealander again. <laughs> then the we rest bring of the back. time, when he's winning awards, yeah. while he's, he's While he's drinking the beer, he's the Australian. When he's throwing the phone, he's, he's a Yeah, New he's a New Zealander. But Keith, Keith Urban actually is another Kiwi, that's but it's okay. Play, it's okay. Play, it's okay. But thank you so much for spending time yeah. with us on the red nice carpet. Meet you, man. It's been wonderful. Nice to meet you. And Good happy up. Anzac Day. Yeah, happy Anzac Day. See you guys. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs>
once were warriors. But not like you, Jake. They were people with mana, pride, people with spirit.